Kennedy was unbelievable on defense tonight. I mean, he had six steals, but he hit. He made so many plays. I think he's still leading the league in steals, and that's unusual for a team that's not pressing or not pressuring a lot. Uh, his defense has been tremendous all year. He cannot score and still help our team. But I thought Scoop and Chris were, were, were great. Uh, they had a rhythm to start out. And we weren't as, as aggressive as we needed to be. Then I thought, you know, our defense picked up, and then we finally got our offense going a little bit with those two guys. Uh, Andy hit a couple, and uh, you know, to go in at halftime ahead was uh, really uh, unbelievable. But the way we started the game, it looked like one of those games that you know would take us the whole game to get back and to to dominate, you know, a top 10, 11 team in the country. After giving them 14 points, it's quite an effort. I'm um, proud of these guys. But the second half, Ricky really took over in the first part of the second half. He got on the boards and would not be denied. Um, and uh, defensively, uh, when they did get inside, uh, West made a couple of the best blocks I've seen around here in a long time, and Ricky too. Um, so it's really a defensive effort to uh, after that first couple minutes of the game as good as we can play, and, and, and I think offensively after the first couple possessions, uh, as good as we can play. Everybody was looking for each other, very unselfish, and uh, we just thought we made a lot of really good plays. Jim Oweski and, and your team being patient in that 14 on run. Well, you know, we, we just uh, weren't defending. You know, we just weren't defending. They hit some open shots. Uh, we can't give Georgetown open shots. They're, they've got very good shooters. And when our defense is not aggressive, you know, we don't need to change defenses. We need to be more aggressive. If we get more aggressive, we trapped a couple passes, got a couple steals, which helped. And, uh, you know, we got them. They got the ball inside, and we made a couple of really good defensive efforts inside. Monroe's a tremendous player. We got him. He got a little foul trouble, which helped us, obviously. Uh, but when he did turn in there, we, we doubled and we got hands on the ball. We forced him into some turnovers. So, uh, again, uh, I thought, uh, you know, this was a – we just got more aggressive on defense. And, uh, our defense is better. This year, that's the difference, I think, overall from, uh, you know, the last couple of years. Our defense is a little better. It seemed like they were playing West pretty tight, but he was still able to kind of grind out. For a well, everybody's going to play him tight. He's not going to have it easy, that's for sure. Uh, he hit a couple, uh, a couple really, you know, big shots, and uh, you know, he's still he's working on his ball handling. He's got, making some turnovers when he gets into traffic that he's got to work on. Me too. I thought his defense was was phenomenal tonight. Um, he made some some really. So you just talk about the crowd, just how they were. Fans playing. were unbelievable. Uh, students, I've uh, never seen so many students here. Uh, they told me they sold 2,700 student tickets the last game, which is a huge number, plus the season ticket holders. Uh, the, 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 whole, the whole crowd was, uh, was great. It's, uh, they get up for these big games. We just got to get them excited for some of the other ones. But uh, they were good today. They didn't help too much that first four minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, earlier in the year you talked about toughness. You're getting what you want. I think we're getting there. We've got to get better. We can execute better. That's the good news. But this team can get better. We can get better. Can you talk about the importance of having Chris and uh, Scoop to come in off the bench and provide some energy? Well, the big difference, you know, we go smaller, we're quicker. Uh, I think we cover better. Um, we're not quite as good on the boards, but you know we're not bad. Um, you know, Chris can get in, get up the court, and get to the basket. He, he got the basket when we were struggling there. Got some, got some points. And Scoop, this is the best he's played. I mean, he was tremendous. I thought the first half he made that three where his ankle was was hurt, and we got him out, and he got it. He was okay after that. And uh, then he made a couple really, really good drives. They were right there to block it. He got it up on the backboard. He made he, he played, uh, played really well. I'd say again, I said all year long, we've got seven guys that can start. That's, that's a good thing. Most people don't have five. Some people don't have five.
Coach, speaking of the fans, it would be impossible to ignore the five-foot giant cut out of your face in the student section. Yes, I can ignore that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like to look at my face when I shake it. <laughs> Why would I go out of my way to look at it? <laughs> and if you don't play well, they'll be throwing that at me. <laughs> Coach, do you have a special feeling about this year's team? I mean, you've talked. I have my special feelings when it's over. <laughs> Anything else is premature. Premature anything isn't very good. Depends on the way your mouth I got kids here. What are you talking about? Who said I wasn't fun? Probably Bud. Otherwise, they'll be firing me like they fired those football coaches. Here's <laughs> <laughs> the correct world out there. Most, some people have never been in a locker room, they've never been in a huddle, and they don't understand what goes on and what has to go on. It's unfortunate. Try to get him on the middle of the zone, and he's good there. But we, we were able to get people back in on him, and our big guys just try to make him take a tough shot. He's a tremendous player. Uh, I thought we did make it hard on him as, as much as we could. And on the offensive end, we wanted to go in on him. We wanted to try to go to him uh, with Orenze or Ricky, whoever he was was defending. Um, and but uh, you know, he had a couple in and outs, and then he got a couple, got you know got in foul trouble, and uh, you know. That happens sometimes. You know, he's a tremendous player. Freeman was tremendous early tonight. I, don't, I thought he was going to score 100. He, he had 23. But, uh, you know. yeah, Georgetown, I watched him a lot this year. Uh, they get a real good team. A uh, really good team. Uh, better, they're better than last year, uh, as I think we are. They lost guys. We lost guys. I guess there's a moral in there someplace. Jim, you were saying about Freeman and his hot start. Uh, after he got off like 13 odd points in the 13. first eight minutes, uh, he only took two more shots the rest of the half. Was there some sort of special attention paid to him, or did just getting the defense to pay, play more aggressively so. stop? I hope we did. You know, we wanted to. Uh, coming out of the timeout, we wanted somebody else to shoot, and for sure, anybody. And, uh, you know, we know Clark's a good shooter, we know Wright's a good shooter. Uh, Wright missed a couple tonight. You know, last year he had 25 in here, I think. Uh, he missed a couple. Uh, got off track a little bit. So, you know, we paid more attention uh, to Clark and to, uh, to Freeman. And uh, you know, limited him a little bit. I thought the key, though, we scored right away in the second half. Ricky got posted up and scored a couple down low. And uh, then we got two, two blocks in a row now at the other end. Just great. Great defensive plays. They got the ball right where they wanted to. Uh, we made West made a couple of unbelievable, unbelievable blocks, really hard, really harder than you think. Um, and that just kind of got the game going. Yeah. But uh, again, when you're 14 down against a good team and you can come back and win by whatever it was, 17, that's a 31 point turnout, turnaround. That's pretty good. We'll see you next week.